Hello Gemini and welcome to your career and finance reading for the month of October 2017. So your current financial situation is, you have renewal, it says review and, and evaluate a favourable assessment of the facts, time to move in a new direction. And here we have the page of wands. So I feel like you're going in a new um in a new direction now i feel like for some of you a job may have recently ended again this is a general reading so this may not apply to all of you for those of you that are in a job you could be re-evaluating what it is that you want to do how to make more money and some of you are looking for work here and i feel like you're very very passionate about it so your current situation is you're looking at your finances and some of you, you are moving in a new in a new direction, or you're looking for work. Your current beliefs about your financial situation is you have justice, fair and just decisions. Do what you know is right. Stand up for your beliefs. So here we also have the Eight of Pentacles as well. So sometimes justice can be rebalancing things as well, um, and I feel like some of you here. You believe that you will find work. You just have to know what you do is right and really stay motivated and keep on looking, which is obviously the right thing. So some of you are trying to do the right thing at work. So for those of you that have just found a new job or are currently in a job, your plan is to just work hard and keep your head down and focus on your work here. And again, it's about doing what you know is right. For some of you here with renewal as well, this can represent a tower card. And this is where you're currently at. So there could be some kind of situation at work. And the advice is to do what you know is right. And you will be fully supported by your guardian angels here if you do what you know is right and focus on your work. And again, it's all about doing the right thing. So your past influences that have helped shape your current attitudes towards your job or money here we have the four of wands and here it says objective decision making clearing away all that no longer serves you and seeing the humor in a situation and it says independent experienced realistic and witty so some of you are in a job where you're experienced here and some of you could be in a very stable job or have been in a stable job and things have been up in the air lately and now you're 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 wanting to do something new or you're searching for something new. Um, and again, I feel like having stability in your job is very, very important. And um, I feel like you like to be independent in your work. You're free thinkers. You're very creative as a sign as well, Gemini. And you need to be in a job where you can express that and have some kind of responsibility. So again, some of you have made some kind of decisions regarding finances lately. And... For those of you that are in a job that's not helping you anymore or that's not doing enough for you, it's time to search for something new here. So your spiritual relationship with money and the lessons that need to be learned. You need to learn to balance your mind and your emotions. Now, the Queen of Water, it says relationships develop to a new level trust your intuition care for yourself and others and the queen of swords is someone that's kind of detached from her emotions here she's all about logic so sometimes um it's easy to fall into a trap where we're working in a job that pays us lots of money or we're okay working and working and working um as long as we're kind of getting paid and making the money that we need to make but your happiness is what's important so you you need to be able to make sure that you are happy doing what you're doing and that you're applying for jobs as well for those of you that are applying for jobs you need to make sure that you have the knowledge and the skills to go for the jobs that you're going for as well I feel like um and I think some of you need to look at the relationships that you have with people at work here, the Queen of Swords can represent someone that can be a little bit distant, someone that can be a little bit emotionally uninvolved. So here, the advice is if you are working with um, groups of different people or you're working in a job where you're caring for vulnerable people like children or maybe even adults or, you know, just basically working in a job that deals with people in general, you need to 
put your emotions into the job for some of you and here we have tender-hearted empathetic patient and loving so so again it's all about loving what it is that you do it's not kind of putting on a brave face and getting on with it so the actions that need to be taken in the current situation here we have the page of water it says a new person enters your life a relationship begins a new phase heightened psychic abilities so in your current work environment i feel like you're dealing with someone that's a little bit temperamental now the seven of swords can speak about someone that's sly someone that's a little bit sneaky so i feel like you need to keep an eye on your finances throughout october or look at the people that you have around you um here with the Page of Swords, your emotional detachment for some of you could be rubbing people up the wrong way here and they could be out to kind of get you, not in a bad way, um, but again, I feel like, yeah, there could be someone new that you're working with and you need to use your intuition with this person and... Yeah, this person is up to no good. You need to keep your eye on them. And make sure as well that your finances are secure. Because um, I feel like I have to be honest with this reading. The Seven of Swords can represent a thief as well. You know, this person has stolen their enemy's sword. So I feel you need to really look at finer details of your finances. So make sure your bank cards are kind of kept safe. Um, check your online security and things like that okay and use your intuition and again the action that's needed we have the nine of wands so this is all about looking over your shoulder but we have the will so it says a time of positive change of situation suddenly moves forward fortune is on your side so maybe so maybe some of you have been dealing with someone like this already and they've made you look over your shoulder or maybe there's some kind of competition going on because the nine of wands can represent competition in the workplace if you're self-employed this can represent um, um competition for custom and someone is trying to be a little bit sneaky and kind of get one over on you it doesn't necessarily have to be a thief it's just someone here has been a little bit sneaky but i feel like you're already aware of this because you are using your intuition and you have been watching your back and you can over your shoulder. But you need to wait for this positive change to happen because the universe is kind of giving you a helping hand here. So the guidance angels just want to let you know that even if things are a bit challenging or have been a little bit rocky right now, things are changing. And the Wheel of Fortune as well can speak about money coming in. It's a time of positive change and the situation is moving forward. So for those of you that are looking for jobs... You're moving forward with that now and there could be something coming to you. Now your outcome, I can see that money is a little bit of a worry for you right now, but there's no need to worry because you have the free of fire. It says abundance, things look very good. Have patience at this time and make long-term plans. So for those of you that are stuck in a job that you're not happy in or you're worried about finances, about paying bills, this wheel of fortune is is coming in to provide you with this abundance so by the end of october throughout november i feel like your finances will be looking much much better and this person here that is causing you trouble they're going to be sorted out okay so their behavior is not going unnoticed here and with with the page of water i feel like some of you may have a manager this person is um, intuitive, especially for those of you that are working in a place that has a new manager. This person isn't silly and they know what's going on and they are going to deal with this person. So, yeah, I feel like it starts off a little bit rocky, but keep this passion, keep this ambition, stay motivated. And again, the universe is helping you out and you do have abundance that is coming to you by the end of the month. So, yeah, so stay strong and yeah just wait for the abundance it says have patience so i don't feel as though things are going to get any worse for you gemini so i hope you enjoyed this reading and i will see you for november's reading bye gemini